Hello. I'm Joanna Johnson, and I am the digital sales manager at WCTI12.com. <laughs> and of course, just WCTI Channel 12, News Channel 12. Um, I was just thinking, maybe we could do this next time, Wendy, and we could do it on Facebook Live. Or yeah. <laughs> That'd be fun. Okay. Uh, I don't like doing live. Some people are. <laughs> I know. I can't figure out where that Photoshop fix button is on that thing. It's a little distressing. But anyway, um, I bought my phone up here, not because I want to be rude, but because uh, to make a point, and that's that almost 80% of the traffic on the World Wide Web goes this way now. And if you think about your life, that's probably true. That's distressing for a lot of us that spend a lot of time in front of websites with big wide, you know, big width and, and it's all very exciting and very colorful and very beautiful and we want it to be that way. But the truth is the functionality and what's happening in digital right now has to do with how it goes here. And that's a very important thing to remember and it's something that I really wanted to focus on today. Um, it's been a huge focus for us at, at, at Channel 12. Um, we just migrated our website. For those of you that have migrated a website, you can come up and shake my hand and pat my shoulder later. <laughs> um, because it's a very complex um, process, no matter how prepared you are for it. And it's one of those things that until you do it, you just don't know. So I hope that you all have, been, have seen it and have enjoyed it. Why is it special? It's a completely responsive website. It's uh, written at HTML5, which is the language that Google basically is written in. And so what it does is it displays on all your browsers. And it is very good at my next point, which is uh, to make, which is there is just nothing as powerful in the world when it comes to social media, or really just about any type of advertising anymore, than video. It's got sound, it's got pictures, it's got everything. And a person is almost a thousand times more likely to look at a video than they are to read a post. I have to think about that for a minute, because I really like to write, and I bet a lot of you do too. Um, we at uh, Channel 12, we've been very blessed, and I just, I'm not up here to say, gee, you were number one. I just want to say thank you, because it's really fun to be number one in the one thing that you do that you just can't sell, and that would be <laughs> Facebook, um, actually. Um, we have uh, shareably uh, recently recognized us as having the largest, um, the largest fan base of any um, Facebook uh, uh, group, of any, of any page, basically. Um, in uh, Eastern North Carolina, so we're really um, very blessed and very gratified. We have people that are so committed, let me tell you. So I'm in, a, in an airport in Phoenix where I was stuck for quite some time trying to get back home because the traffic was um, rerouted out of the southeastern United States due to Matthew, with good reason, obviously. Um, but uh, like so many of us in media, um, you know, at, at some point we lost power, we lost transmitters, we lost the ability. Um, you know, the generator doesn't you know, work all the time, whatever happens, and, and you get no news for a while. It's a very scary thought. And all of a sudden, I pick up, I see something on my phone, and of course it's Facebook. And it's a little Blair Witch-ish, but um, <laughs> they're less, less giving me the weather updates, you know, and about what's going on and what's happened. Not me, but everybody, giving everybody. So social media has just really given us all in broadcast media an opportunity to connect in a different way. Those of us that are in mass reach mediums, it, it used to be the, the big thing to be able to say, we reach the most people, we reach the most people. Did we tell you we reach the most people? That type of thing. <laughs> and, and that was a great thing, don't get me wrong. But as, as, especially in the past 20 years, everything has gotten smaller and smaller. And what I mean by that is not that we've gotten less effective, it's actually more that we've gotten more effective. We're connecting in amazing ways more interactively, directly with the person. So for those of you that have nonprofits, especially I would like to say, or, or ever involved, and I'm sure because you're here, you probably are involved in nonprofit events, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you don't know, there's a, a free calendar, at, on, not only on our website, but on most people's website. Um, so both of, of, of the stations that, that also serve this market have that. And you can go and you can update your information you can put information about your event, and it's free. As long as people have their clothes on, they're probably going to put it up. <laughs> so make sure everybody's like. Um, anyway, but it's it was, it's free, and, and that's a great thing to take advantage of. It gets a little time consuming, but really, once you get used to doing it, it's not bad. And I'm sure the radio stations have a, a similar thing. I know that we that we used to when I was on radio as well. So, um, in any case, I encourage everybody to take advantage of that. Um, I really think that broadcast media has such a wonderful opportunity, not just because we, we can drive traffic um, 
through what we do over the air with, with our um, audiences, but the fact that we also have the social media established. So you can find us on Facebook, you can also find us on Twitter, you can also find us on LinkedIn, you can also find us on Instagram. Probably Tumblr too, I'm not really sure, I didn't check, but um, I hope that you'll check me out, and instead of <laughs> bringing handouts, please reach out to me. It's Johnson at wcti12.com. Thanks for letting me have